Hey guys, Pixel Fiend Tech here, and today I have a setup of this over here. Um, now, if I just focus in for you here, this is the Logitech MX Performance Mouse. As you can see, it has the beautiful ergonomic design, but today I'm going to be showing you how to set this up with my computer back there. So, um, what I'm going to do is um, take the camera off the tripod and then show you how to set it up with this bad boy. Um, but first what I will do is show you what you have to do on here. So um, when you take this out the box, um, mine had about half charge though you may need to charge it um, using this cable here. Um, it has micro USB on one end and normal USB on the other so you can charge it through your computer or with this little um, wall dock here. Um, so I've charged mine up and we'll put them to the side. So now what you have here is the bottom. Now you can see there is a little switch. Mine's currently on. So you need to flick it over so it's at the on side. Um, so um, then after you've done all that take this tiny little USB unifying receiver and plug that into the side of your laptop. So now that I've done that I will just take the camera off the tripod and show you what I do. Okay guys so um, I've just plugged in the unifying receiver and as you can see on the computer screen it is working straight away. I had to go through no um, installation process. Now what I'm going to show you how to do is customize the different buttons because this mouse, if I bring it into frame, as you can see it has three buttons on the side there. And then you of course have your normal buttons and a secret little button down here where my thumb is that you push down with the pad of your hand when you're holding it. Um, so uh, what you need to do is go down and click on the link in the description um, which will take you to the Logitech download section and you want to download the software um, which I will just find here in my start menu. So um, it comes in the file called Logitech um, and then it is called mouse and keyboard settings. It's a fairly simple name. Um, so I'll just zoom in on the screen here. Um, now I decided not to use screen capture for this um, so uh, I can show you what I'm doing with the mouse as well. So here you have the list of all the different buttons. Um, and I again apologize for the quality but at the top we have left click, right click and then I've programmed the rest of these. Um, so you can program every single um, button including right, left click and scroll wheel. So I'll just quickly show you how to do that. So I'll go into the left click and as you see here it highlights it. Um, so on the right and left all you can do is swap um, so that you have them uh, for like left handed or if you just prefer it that way. If I go on to uh, say the volume up button you have some ones here uh, that are just suggestions, so we have forward, next, page up, cruise up, keystroke assignment, which is where you type in a shortcut on your keyboard, um, or others. Now when it's other you click select function and you have a drop down menu of tons of different functions that you can set it to. Um, so that is extremely handy. So all you need to do is set that. So for example I have the button that says zoom on it set for minimize. So when I bring my mouse in and click the zoom button you'll see the window goes away. Um, also I have the up and down button set to change the volume. So you can see here I can change the volume like that. Um, so that is just an example of what you can set it to and hopefully that has been a good instruction of how to do it. Now what I'm going to do is show you the buttons themselves. So here at the front of the mouse um, we have the charging port where you charge it. You then have right click, left click, scroll wheel and then the kind of scroll editing button. So um, as you can hopefully hear 
it makes a clicking noise. In fact, what I will do is take off my microphone and put it in next to the mouse. Um, so you will be able to hear now that it just goes in the normal scroll. Whereas when I click that button down and do it, it continuously scrolls. Now this is extremely handy if you're at the bottom of a document and you would like to scroll straight back up to the top of the page in a very short amount of time. You just need to do one scroll rather than doing tons of little scrolls. Um, so that's it for the top of the mouse. Now on the side we have these two buttons which are originally set for page forward, page backward and as it says on it, zoom. Um, so I have those for volume up, volume down and zoom. Now these are brilliant buttons, they're extremely responsive and you will not click on them by accident. You have to move it up but it's not a great movement. Um, and it works for pretty much all styles, um, big hands, small hands, you will be fine. Um, next you have this little button down here, which you simply press with your thumb, or you can push in on this part here. This whole part is the button, so you simply push down on that part there. Um, so that is it for the buttons. Um, so this design here, you have a lump here and your main section here where your thumb goes and it does fit brilliantly in the hand. Um, getting around to the bottom of the mouse you have the special lasers for the dark field tracking, the battery segment and the on off switch. So that's just a tour and setup of the Logitech MX Performance Mouse. I hope you enjoyed this video and a review will hopefully be coming very soon. Thanks for watching. So guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Also, head over to Facebook and Twitter. My names are on screen and I'll also put links down in the description. If you've got any questions you would like to ask, please leave a comment or email me at the address on screen. Thanks for watching. See you.